when you run out of gas in the middle of cooking, the last thing you want to do is run around and try and get another gas bottle. So it's good to have a changeover. The difficulty, of course, is if you've only got one container, you can't carry it on the bus. You can't carry the spare on the bus. It has to be in a sealed container that vents externally. So, rather than buying an extra large one, I'm going to use this filing cabinet. Taking the guts out of the out of the box, remove these, take the lid off, and after the bottom, cut a board. And basically this is just a piece of board from the uh, the flooring. The reason I'm using it is because it's really got a vinyl coat on it, uh, non-slip, um, it's sealed. This is the outside of the bus. This will, be pushed, this will be pushed up to the wall of the bus, like that. And the door will be fixed on the outside and sealed. Put Sikaflex all around, I've screwed it down with uh, timber screws, I have to screw it through the the metal frame first. The frames from here, from that point, so the window frame down to that point where the floor was mounted, is basically just the panel side panel of the bus. And then of course you've got the gap here. So that is virtually the exact height of the door that will fit there. Cut it down, essentially um, it'll fit in nicely just into the gaps that are there between the frames. Now I tried a number of ways of cutting a hole in the bus. I mean, you're cutting through steel, but it's also flexible, so it wobbles and vibrates when you cut it. I tried using one of these with a fine blade. These things vibrate and shake everything. It's not an appropriate tool for cutting a hole. These vibrate and are quite difficult to keep um, in control. But in the end, I used an orbital blade on an angle grinder. So it's quite a thin blade, as you can see. You get a lot of accuracy with something like this, minimal damage, and the piece comes out clean. Use an angle grinder.